Hello everybody and welcome back to part 11 of our Let's Play on Old Ridge Farm. Today we are gonna... Oh god, better move this a bit. Today we're gonna start by... Turning up the volume, because it's really quite low. There we go. Uh, we're gonna start, because I've planted all the fields with... Well, I say all of them. I've planted... I haven't bought anything once I'm down there, it's a trailer. So, the two fields I said I'd do with canola I have, and the other two I've done in barley, so we can at least, because they're just so small, there's no point trying to do them in canola, you don't get any harvest off them. So, what I've decided is we're going to go for the jaguar, jaguar, but we're going to do um, grass, so we're going to get uh, we're going to collect it a different way. Hopefully cosplay won't mess up. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get out. So what? It's basically got the front attachment on. We'll cultivate them in. I haven't done that yet. The front attachment to pick up grass. Like mowed grass. And then all we're going to do is... Uh, hopefully that's come around. Yep, it has. So it's going to be going for uh, this attachment here with the Jaguar here. That's quite a lot of money we've got to try and make. So hopefully these two canola fields will become, will basically get us quite a bit of money. So we're gonna not we're not gonna stay in the cab of this thing for ages. We're gonna go down to the car uh, beef cow not calves beef beef cow Zach beef cows not calves. All right, so let's oh fucking hell what am I doing? Sorry, I've been on the Walking Dead today, Minecraft. I've been on every game but this one. Hopefully, it doesn't do that weird bug thing, you know. Where in the in FS13, if you drive on it, it do that weird bug thing where it stop it grow the first few stages, but won't grow all the way because you've driven on it. Oh snow! When it rain? Oh, we're running out of silage. The silage we didn't have. Right, we'll do a bit of a night feed. So we'll do what we normally do, which is one headland near enough. And then we'll go down to the cows and feed them. Probably won't give them silage again because it requires one straw bale. And I don't want to keep giving straw bales away. This isn't fertilised because I don't have any money. And we're trying to save up for stuff. But we will be buying a tank this episode as well. A slurry tanker to do the cows with to so we can start using some of the liquid manure they produce just got to check a message sorry guys I do this almost every episode check messages oh fuck we'll get that bit at the end I always do that get bits at the end So if you hear it go off, it's just people. Alright. So yeah, I've done a Walking Dead, let's play, not let's play, live stream today. A Minecraft live stream as well. So they're at 56%. They might want more water, the cows. But we will take a couple bales down to... Or bale. One bale to each shed. Well, that's four we need to take. Hmm, do we want to take four, though? Do they get their own... Do they make slaughter weight with nothing in them? No. Great guess there by Zach. Uh, so we will have to cut... We will have to mow the grass down the bottom. 
Hmm. I've got it. What we'll do is, once this guy's going, we'll take the... We'll put the mowers on the big MB track. Take that down the bot. Take that down to the calves. Um, make sure that's all mowed. Bail it, rake it, and then take the JCB down. This is what... We need to buy another JCB as well. Oh, God. We're never going to get this Jaguar, are we? Silage could be holding off for another couple of episodes. So, I will take out a bank loan if we get close to it. Probably take out a massive one so I can get another JCB. Or I might even just know. No, we don't need to get... No. It's difficult because I need a tractor to stay down there. Well, a loader. A front loader. What are you on about buying another loader, Zach? You've got one at the bloody cows. I mean telehandler. So we could take the John the jet the four down and just pick them up like that, but that hasn't got enough reach to do anything with. Uh, yeah, we'll t we'll take the we won't bother buying another one. It just means well no. We might have to buy bother bother buying another one because um going down to the calves all the time. We'll burn more fuel. We're doing this realistically, remember, so we're trying to save as much fuel as we can. So, driving down to the calves. And that, oh my god. Beef cows is going to be more fuel used. So, we'll probably buy the other front, the, buy the other JCB, the yellow one, the proper looking one, and put a bale fork on that. Take that down there and leave it. Which basically means the MB track's just got to drive down there to mow it with... And then the Ford's just got to follow down and take the rake. Which we can just use follow me mod for. Which I'm going to do. Take the rake down. So I could do it all in one trip if I had enough tractors. Which I do. But I am not going to do that. Because I need this tractor here whilst this guy is doing this. Oh god no, turn, 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 combine. So yeah, whilst this guy's doing this, we'll get that tractor going. I could set up a course play course, but really the map's too small for that. Well, it's not small. I did it on Spring Hill, because that's how lazy I was, but... Canola doesn't take that long. It doesn't takes quite a bit to fill up. Its yield's quite low, even with without any sort of... Um, oh, what's it called? Without any fertilizer on, it's quite low. So we will be buying another JCB, which you'll all be glad to know. Spending more bloody money. So we'll have two JCBs, one Ford, one case, no, one case, one class, one track, one new, two New Holland equipment, a rake. God, this is the best let's play I've done so far. <laughs> All the other ones have been like I've got like two rakes. Because we're actually getting we're we're actually becoming more independent. So yes, we will do this. We'll probably let this guy go round on his second headland by himself. I just set him to go round around. It's a lot easier. So I'll probably do that. But I'm gonna straighten him up so he just goes yeah, you want to go round and round go right hopefully you won't fuck that up so yeah we've got this ford that can go down with oh god sh cow shut up so there's this one here which I've got to try and get out Right, so that one's out. So this JCB is going to be here, but the other one I'm on about doesn't have a pitch yet, which is here, which is about about a bit less than that. So they're both near enough the same, but one's more detailed and one's a little bit more coloured. Um, uh, so yeah, here's the MB track. Look how muddy it is. Look how nice that looks as well. That looks really nice. So we're going to leave you here, put the mowers on you, take you down the bottom. 
hook up the rake to the thing. Just let me apply to this. I really should stop texting. I'm trying to record at the same time. So yeah, the MB tracks. This is a beast little machine. I'm actually oh God, loving it. I am loving this little thing. Realistic. We need to be realistic. Driving in cab. Do 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 do. So yes, hopefully it will be okay. I really need to make get that mod there, that trailer, but take that front dolly off. So sort of on this map build, not well, sort of, I don't really want to undo their work really because they've put all that effort in. But I mean, sort of take that dolly bit off and sort of stack it on a bunch of pallets to make it look like it's actually a farming thing because I don't think any farmers would ever tow it around, would they? they just leave it there. So we're not going to mow this field here. We're going to get down to the cows. So I've been working off screen a bit. Not a great deal, as you know. Just enough to get us to this stage. So some things you'll see over and over again because we really need to do them. And I don't do enough of them. I could basically mow all the fields and stack every single bale. So it's also, oh, we're going to have to spend a bit of money now. Unless, unless I just take the JCB. No, we can't do that, can we? And the reason I'm coming here is to pick up the Ford as well. Um, What could we do? Just thinking about it, because this one's needed for mowing, because it's the only one powerful enough out of the two. What the fuck's that PTO now? Um, but... We kind of need the Ford down there with the front loader, and it don't have one. We'll, we'll figure it out when we need to. By For now, we'll just get it done. Anyway, I'll have to come up here to pick the bale truck. No, I'll we'll, we'll stack them all off screen. Right. So the follow me mod is you drive right the way around, like this. F1. G, control, F. Oh, fuck no. no, I'm over here, dickhead. No, not the JCB. Right, we'll sort of move my for move this guy right the way around here. Right, that should be enough. It will lag a bit because I've turned his lights on and we don't want that because that kills your FPS like every fucking day. Oh, let's get round here. Control F. Control F. It's in front of you, knobhead. Look, it's there. Right, let's straighten him right up. Right, there we go. Are you following? Let's make sure he gets out of there quite okay. Plenty of room. Go 9-8. Beacons on. Oh. Right, let's go to the cows. Bruh. He won't have any beacons, so Ooh, he can't put any on. But yeah, if you get too far in front of him, he'll sort of just stop and cry. So it's best to go gentle speed. Whip. We are going to take the other route. Hopefully he follows and doesn't crash. Let's see how well he does. Oh, like a champ. The reason we're going this way is because the field is there. So you just need to go over this. It's a bit rocky, but nothing this thing can't handle. Power! Room. And then pull in in here. Jesus, that fall's going for it. Pull in. 
we'll sort of mow around this track. We oh he did a drift. <laughs> Good Ford. Right, you're here. You can nip over here and stay there because we don't need you yet. Unfold these. We're not gonna do this track here. We'll go over to this bit. Actually, that's going to be really difficult because when you come off that corner, it's going to be right there. Isn't it? So I know these mowers work because I did them off screen. You can really get this tractor to rev hard if you want. Hang on, everyone. Right. Let's go. Try and get most of the grass. Let's do a bit in cab. So yeah, I've used this tractor a lot off screen. He did all the he did all the seeding for all the fields. Um, just sort of making sure everything's all right, really. I would have him come in, follow me raking, but I do things differently raking, so I don't really want him to follow. Which would save. A lot of time. And the steering wheel in this doesn't turn all the way around, so it's kinda not it's kinda not worth looking at. So yes, this is the big paddock next to the railway station. And the calves is lit oh the beef cattle is there. I will get it right one day. The beef cows are there. So we'll probably stack the bales in that shed there because with that bale mod, oh god, this is gonna get weird. With that mod, I've got uh, bales degrade and all that. So if you leave them out, they degrade. So we'll have to sort of make them and then bring them in. Not bringing the bale trailer down here because there's no point. I can just stack them individually. Yes, if you want a tractor that's good at just about everything, you throw at it. I have this one. Got it off FS15 website. I'll put links in the description to all the all the mod websites I get. I'll do it on episode six as well. I'll do it for all of them. Because someone's been asking for mods, and I I can't be bothered to really find them all. If you just have the if you just have the websites, it'll be a lot easier. It makes life a bit easier for me as well. Because I have a lot of mods. But yes, if you want a good little workhorse, I recommend this MB truck. We've also got a truck mod installed, which I want to get for silage as well, which is going to cost a lot of money. It's a... Uh, I'll just, I don't know why I'm explaining it, just show the bloody thing. So I want to go for this, 250,000. This thing holds silage, which will make life a lot easier as it's just an all-in-one unit. Holds 43,000, which is quite a lot. So that you come with these two, the 530 horse each, um, and then you get a bunch of trailers you can have. So you can basically make a massive road train out of all of these if you really want to. But they all hold different amounts. And we're not going to have any because we've got to try and reverse it in, remember. So it would be easy just with a truck. But yeah, so I will have to drive the forage harvester for silage and try and get cosplay to at least work. Or even if I just make a circuit where... He comes to this pit and stops, like waits, has a waiting point in his journey, then stops. I could, that would probably work quite well, actually. Because then he would, um, it would stop. He would, he would stop, and then I can just tab to him and reverse him, and then set it, and then tip it, and then get him back to where he was and set him going again. Unless unless someone knows a way, I'll probably watch some of Ian Robson's tutorials or if you can make him go backwards and not not make it fuck up. I'll probably try it off screen on a, on a map. Probably on this one. I'll probably cut one of these fields like a row. 
set up a course play course and all that and try and get in to see if I can get him to reverse but yeah I'll do all this off screen because we've all seen mowing before it's all beautiful get to the end of this row so as you can see this MB track's just a little workhorse it doesn't use that much fuel neither since we've had it it's done I think it's one day nine hours I think that's how it works in that little hour gauge thing if that's not how it works someone tell me because that's how I think it works anyway Set up for the next run, then I'll end it there. There's a fuel tank over there as well, so if I run out. But there's no silage pits at these at this place. You have to go across the road. To can you see him just in the trees? There's like a blue, big silo. That's where you have to go. Right. Anyway. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you're enjoying it. Comment, rate and subscribe. And happy farming.